You take a train or a bus on your way to work, you might want to pay attention. The State Department of Transportation is considering a number of changes for its Metro North, Shoreline East, and CT Transit service. And Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland it takes a look at what could be in store and how you have a chance to weigh in on this. Fewer trains, higher fares, more buses. The proposed changes come out of a recent state budget that the state says aligns more closely with the current commuting habits. I actually traveled during the pandemic when I was the only person on the train. Mark Rosenzweig commutes a couple days a week. So he's curious to see how the DOT's proposed changes for Metro North New Haven line would impact him. Specifically, two fewer trains a day Monday through Thursday and cutting eight trains on Friday. The proposal also includes reducing Shoreline East service from 23 daily trains to 16. So if you're lowering the options for them to be able to commute, then inherently there's going to be less commuters following. As for the proposed Metro North fare increases, those would range from 25 cents to a dollar, depending on where you're coming from and where you're going. If you tell me a constant price, but I know that anytime I go to the train station, within half an hour I can get a train, that's a lot more reliability for me than the other way around. While there's a reduction in train service, the budget added more money for buses, so that means a number of new CT transit routes. The DOT says commuting habits continue evolving following the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, and these proposed changes reflect this new normal by prioritizing morning and evening peak train service and introducing bus service changes to meet a new demand. When you have a limited budget and you have less customers, I guess that's what you have to do. Obviously, no one is going to like this from the commuter side, but I, I think people will understand what's going on. DOT will hold four public hearings, two in person, one here in New Haven on October 2nd, one in Hartford on October 3rd, and then two virtual sessions on October 4th. Of course, all of the information about those sessions, the proposed changes, we've got it on the Channel 3 app. Reporting in New Haven, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Matt